Hello friends, I welcome to your YouTube channel IU Health Tech where I give tips related to health and technology. So today I came again with real environment video on BMC remedy that is ticketing tool used for system administrators in most of the projects. So today I will be explaining what is this BMC remedy and how it works. BMC Remedy actually keep the incident to their database and all the information in that incident related to that incident. So what it will do for that first monitoring team check if there is something unnecessary happened on their screen they made incident and assigned to different different teams according to the requirement like if it is related to server they assign to system administrator team so here the same i am showing you is the incident related to system administrators here i have marked few areas black just because of security reasons but it will not be affecting anything so you will be able to understand clearly what is that so BMC remedy has four to five faces that you can see in the tab above on top first is identification and recording that was I was talking about the monitoring team Monitoring team records if if unless something unnecessary happened on the server side, then they assign the ticket to particular team like TSM, storage, database, Windows, Unix team. Here here is a case of ticket assigned to Unix team. Third is resolution and recovery. So when you resolve the ticket, means you have solved the problem that came on the server. So after that you will go to that phase after resolving and saving. Fourth phase is incident closure after resolving. When you close the incident it will go to that phase. It will go to that phase and after that fifth phase is closed. When you fully close the ticket then you will go goes to that phase. So here are the five phases of incident. In the first uh, tab, you can see incident ID. Here you get unique incident number. Always, uh, if problem came with the server, it creates a new unique incident number. It cannot be repeated. It's, it cannot be duplicated. So, in the first incident id tab you will get incident number that is 12 digit incident number 12 digit are numericals so first three first three are characterization inc is for incident okay second is a company in which you are working or or you are which working like company can be any Cisco it totally depend on the project in which project you are working it automatically shows that like Cisco, Oracle, Windows sorry Windows not Windows yeah, Microsoft so third tab you can as a requester name like here I have a black mark for security reasons that user the request came from actually this user requested us to perform some steps so here the, here came that username who requested query to us again fourth tab is optional contact number it is it is his It is totally depend on uh, the customer whether he wants to 
submit here his uh, contact number or not so it's an op option next uh, next tab is label is notes where he defined totally as you can see i have opened that notes play where he asked us to perform some application side steps step by step here in summary he will write short messages like here you can see a return eim server recycle so again next three tabs are from uh, user requested side he may want if he may want he fill them or leave or can leave them empty next is next level is impact what is the impact on the server of that application so he will minor localized there are four types of uh, impact on it first is critical second is high third is moderate and fourth is minor same on urgency he can fill out of four depend on whatever is happening on the server like critical first one second is high third is medium fourth is low there are four types of urgencies and priorities same priorities are of four types critical high medium and low we in our uh, real environment we call it p is like p1 for critical p2 for high p3 for medium p4 for low p1 tickets should be resolved within 2 to 4 hours p2 tickets should be resolved within 48 hours p3 tickets should be resolved within 2 to 3 days and p4 tickets we can resolve within 5 days okay on dif in different different projects this criteria is sla level we which we call sla level is differentiate on different different projects somewhere maybe for their p1 it means they should be resolved within one hour like this again if you go below there is a assigning group that is here in case is our team so here could be database team application team or uh, windows team could be any i forgot the incident type level in incident type level there is written user service request because user requested this if there will be on server impact related to performance there should be written performance if related to space then should be written space issue so here on left hand side in the middle you can see slm status that is service level management status within this date we need to resolve the ticket anyhow otherwise it will breach the sla service level agreement which was signed between our company and that in that company so here uh, that sla was for 5 days because it was a low ticket low level ticket totally there are three types of tickets first is incident management second is change management third is problem management so incident management is that incident which comes to different different teams second is change management change management is what when we need to perform some changes on the server then change comes in that remedy same so we work accordingly third is problem management when something a uh, long issue is going on on the server and nobody is able to resolve in that then we will open a pbi which called problem management 
so what problem management team do it will together all the teams that is network team database team system admin team every team to resolve the ticket on base of those uh, incident change and problem management there are four types of priority on all the three they those are i already told you one number one is critical that is p1 number two i that is p2 number three medium that is p3 and number four is low that is p4 when we we when we will open p1 p1 is open when something critical happens like server rebooted in that case we open the p1 ticket and if problem is not resolving or we are if we are not able to find why the server was rebooted and who rebooted the server or it was was it automatically rebooted so we open a case with vendor like if it is a red hat server then we open a case with red hat if it is a solar server we open a case with oracle and if it is a ax server then we will open a case with ibm so here i give you only the basic knowledge of bmc remedy it service management that is ticketing tool it is always asked in most of the interviews so i decided to make a video on that here lot more things we can do in bmc remedy here you can see on the left side the application tab here is lots of options to do lots of things but for now for uh, interview purposes that is enough to know about bmc remedy so guys if you like my channel please subscribe to it and press the bell icon next to it so that you can get all my videos right at that time when i uploaded them i always try to make video in my week offs because on weekdays i do, i do not get time to make videos and upload it upload them so thanks for your support thank you for seeing and liking